Today I'm going to do another episode on Visual Studio Code since there's a lot of things that you guys requested of me to show regarding this text editor. So in the last episode I showed you how to get rid of a PHP error message. In this episode I'm going to show you guys how you can install extensions inside this editor here. So on the side here, this is actually what you see when you open it up for the first time. Well, except for you will actually get a welcome message. But when you start it up the first time, you will actually have something going on the side here. You will have something at the bottom here that you can get rid of if you want to by just dragging it down. And on the side here, we do have a couple of different menus. At the bottom here, we'll actually find one called extensions. And inside of here, you can actually go ahead and search for whatever type of extension that you might want to install. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and try and search for something that's really popular when it comes to Visual Studio Code, which is how to change the formatting of a certain code inside this editor here. So we were to say something like PHP format, because I did have one of you ask me about how to change the format inside this uh, editor using PHP code. And as you can see, we get a couple of different options here. Now, if you were to click on one of them, you can actually see how many stars it was actually rated. You can see how to install it down here at the bottom. And this is something that might be a little bit confusing to some people when you start out. Now, I just sort of recommend if you are completely new at this to just sort of look them through. The one that I do actually have installed for my PHP, uh, what do you call it, formatting, is the one called PHP IntelliFence, which is a funny uh, put together word because they have an elephant as their logo, because an elephant. Um, but this one's the one that I use, and you can actually go ahead and click install over here. And then after installing it, you need to restart the editor in order to actually activate the uh, extension that you just installed. And it does actually have a button here that allow for you to immediately reboot the software without actually losing all the documents that you have open inside the editor. If you want to disable or uninstall this extension you just installed, you can go ahead and do it here as well, the same place where you did actually click install. And when you do actually install an extension, I do recommend that you read the instructions down here, the details about it, because in some cases like configuring uh, your already existing settings inside the editor can be a thing that is necessary. So it will actually explain how to do that inside uh, the extension here. Now I will have a separate episode showing how to install a format and how to get it done the correct way so you can actually access it inside the editor. So we're not going to do that in this episode. This one is just going to focus on installing extensions. Uh, so as you can see, we can actually click an extension install and there we go. If you were to install an extension and it gives you an error message, if you try to access one of its features, it could be caused by the fact that the extension is not working the way it's supposed to because a lot of these extensions here are created by individual people who just create extensions for software, for example, for this editor here. So don't be alarmed if a certain extension doesn't work. In my case here, the one called PHP CS Fixer is one that I tried out the first time when I did actually you know, install extensions for this software. And it did give me an error message that I couldn't figure out how to solve. And in that case, I went ahead and installed IntelliFence instead, which also has high ratings and didn't produce an error message when I tried to format the code that uh, it allowed for me to do as part of its features inside the extension here. So this is how you install extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. I'd like to say thank you to all the people supporting me on Patreon if you're interested in extra benefits such as lesson materials. Then go ahead and visit the link that you see on screen here and I'll see you guys next time.